Okay, for this next problem, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna find the value for C that satisfies this. We have to first make sure that the mean value theorem can be applied for this problem. So first, let's take a look at the original function f of x. Now this has to be continuous only on this interval. So if I put two in there, I get ln of one, which is zero, that's okay. If I put four in there, it's okay. Any number in between there will also work. So therefore, we know that this is gonna be continuous on that closed interval that they give us. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to see if the derivative is continuous on the open interval from two to four. So let's take the derivative. Because I have a natural log here, I have to use my formula u primed over u. The u in this case is the inside thing, x minus one. So f primed of x is gonna be on the bottom. Here's the u. On top, I wanna to take the derivative of u. The derivative of that is gonna give us a one. So this is our derivative. Now this one, the only place where this would be undefined would be at x is equal to one, but we're not including that number in our interval. So because of that, that means it would definitely be continuous on the open interval from two to four. So yes, mean value theorem can be applied here. So the next thing we wanna do is find the C that makes this work. So uh, first I wanna start with F prime to C. So to do that, I just put in a C for X in our derivative, that's F prime to C. On the other side, I wanna do F of B minus F of A. Let's do those off to the side. Again, here's our A and here's our B. A is two and B is gonna be four. Okay, so let's do F of four first. Remember we're putting this into the original one. So if I put that in there, four minus one, I get natural log of uh, three when I do that. Four minus one is three, so I get this. Let's now do f of two. If I put two in here, two minus one is one. The natural log of one is zero. Okay, so this we get a zero for f of two. We can put these directly into our formula, f of b minus f of a, we're gonna do f of b, we're gonna do natural log of three minus zero on the bottom, b minus a, we're gonna do four minus two. Now that we have this complete, we're ready to do our simplifying step. So we'll come up here, we'll do that right above. I have one over, c minus one is gonna equal natural log of three over two. So now I just need to solve that equation. That's gonna allow me to solve for the C. Cross multiply, we're gonna get uh, ln three times C minus one is gonna equal two. C natural log of three minus natural log of three equals two. We're gonna solve for C. When you Add the natural log of three and divide by natural log of three, you're gonna get two plus natural log of three all over natural log of three. What you can do is you can put this number into your calculator and when you do, you should be able to verify that that decimal number will be in fact between the closed interval uh, two to four. So this is your only answer in this case, that's your C value.